my dear brothers and sisters there is a beautiful story written in the bible book of daniel one day the babylonian king nebuchadnezzar he had a wrong in inspiration from uh, some of his advisors and he made a big huge statue of himself and he told all the citizens to bow down in front of the statue and worship the statue and he called all the wise men of the country all the leaders of the country all the important people of the country and everyone gathered together in front of the statue of nebuchadnezzar a huge statue of the nebuchadnezzar and then he said when he make uh, when the tambourines and harps and everything make noise and everyone is supposed to bow down and worship the statue if you are ready when you hear the sound of the horn pipe lyre trigon harp drum and entire musical ensemble to fall down and worship the statue that i have made well and good but if you do not worship you shall immediately be thrown into a furnace of blazing fire and who is the god that will deliver you out of my hands so he made himself god he told everyone to worship but when everyone worshiped three people did not worship three people were standing straight everyone was falling on their face in front of the statue but three people were standing straight they were not ready to worship the shadrach meshach and abednego they did not worship and then the king was so angry king came to know that they did not worship and then the king called these three people shadrach meshach and abednego and then when these three people came and the king asked him i heard that you did not worship my statue then these three people answered like this o nebuchadnezzar we have no need to present a defense to you in this matter was 17 if our god whom we serve is able to deliver us from the furnace of blazing fire and out of your hand o king let him deliver us so he said they said if god wants to deliver us let him deliver us but we don't want to defend ourselves in front of you and verse 18 but if not be it known to you o king that we will not serve your gods we will not worship the golden statue that you have set up if god wants to save us well and good if we if our god doesn't want to say save us protect us but still we will not disobey our god praise the lord is very important my dear brothers and sisters what abednego shadrach meshach abednego said is very important they said if our god protects us and save us from the blazing furnace well and good we are happy but even if he doesn't protect us even if we are consumed by the blazing fire still we will never deny our god still we will never reject our god still we will not fall into sin still we will not worship you my dear brothers and sisters do we have the same kind of faith in us are we praying and worshiping god daily just for the sake of some healings and miracles and wonders even if the healings are not taking place even if these prayers are not answered even if nothing of our prayers are answered are you ready to love jesus still are you still ready to love jesus and follow him and obey his commandments that is that shows you really love him that shows you really love him not his blessings you are loving jesus not yet, not your not his blessings that is the true love my dear brothers and sisters let's examine our conscience i'm so happy that so many of you in spite of your prayers are not answered in spite of your prayers are not heard in spite of not receiving any blessing but still you're so faithful and committed to listen to the word of god and continuously attending the live streamings and sharing the link with all your friends and doing sincerely this is true love this is true love of god god is so happy with you god will bless you surely these three people were thrown into the furnace we read like this in the word of god verse 46 chapter 3 verse 46 of daniel book of daniel now the king's servants who threw them in kept stocking the furnace with naphtha pitch tow and brushwood 
and the flames poured out above the furnace 49 cubits so huge burning flame blazing furnace and then verse 48 we read and spread out and burnt those Chaldeans who were caught near the furnace even those people who carried these three people to throw into the furnace they were burnt alive but the angel of the Lord came down into the furnace to be with Asaria and his companions and drove the fiery flame out of the furnace and verse 49 and made the inside the furnace as though a moist wind were whistling through it. The fire did not touch them at all and caused them no pain or distress. He made a beautiful cool wind breeze inside the furnace he made a beautiful place and these three people along with the angel were standing in the midst of the furnace and praising God, worshipping God. The fire did not touch them at all and cause them no pain or distress. Verse 51. Then the three with one voice praised and glorified and blessed God in the furnace. My dear brothers and sisters, the day you will come in the furnace, burning furnace, in the blazing furnace, you will be untouched. You will be surrounded by this fire. You will be surrounded by the sicknesses. You will be surrounded by the pain. You will be surrounded by the rejection, lordiness, sufferings after suffering. But in the midst of the suffering, you will stand straight without, without any pain, without any affliction. You will stand straight. The blessing and protection doesn't mean healing alone. Blessing and protection doesn't mean healing alone. There are people who are in the midst of sufferings after sufferings and sickness after sickness, but they are able to stand straight, being untouched, not being consumed by the fire, standing alone with angels, with strong faith and glorifying God and praising God. I know so many people, they are surrounded by so many problems and worries, family problems, sicknesses after sickness, but in the midst of all these, they are doing the ministry of God. They are worshipping God daily. They are joining the live streaming daily. They are praying, Lord, praying in the presence of God daily and happy. And they say, we thank and praise God for every suffering that we face. We thank God for all the suffering that we are going through. In the midst of this suffering, we are able to praise God with tears. We, it makes us happy. They told us, my dear brothers and sisters, don't worry about the suffering. You just love Jesus. Even if he blesses, whether he blesses or not, we still love him. Whether he heals us or not, we still love him. Whether he protects us or not, we still love him. Whether he, he, he covers us with his protection or not, still we love him. Still we will be faithful to him. Still we will hold on to him. Praise the Lord.